hi guys uh, welcome to another uh, mysql replication tutorial uh, in this one we will be doing the practical example of the uh, parallel replication uh, how we will, how we are going to do it um, before that let me tell you uh, what is the current environment uh, i have an app server uh, where from where i'm going to like uh, uh do the sysbench testing i will be uh, doing the bulk insert uh due to which i will be creating some lag on my replica uh, because it will be going to be a huge bulk so then we will have to uh, solve the lag using uh, by configuring the parallel replication so we will know that uh, how we can uh, get the benefit from the parallel replication uh, I am using the Procona management tool uh, which I have already shown you that how we can uh, configure it if you haven't seen that uh, please uh, watch that one before and then come to this tutorial uh, how we can uh, check the MySQL uh, lag from here uh, you need you guys need to go to this uh, services click on the services okay and go to MySQL instance overview uh, and then from there uh, you guys have to go to the uh, HA and from here you uh, select the mysql replication summary uh, here you won't see any data because you have to select the instance you want to uh, the service name you want to uh, watch so currently we know that our mysql 2 is our mysql 2 is our uh, slave if you check the mysql 1 you won't see any iof thread running or sql thread running uh, so you have to check the mysql 2 and if from here you can see that uh, okay or replication is running uh, replication error no read only no it is not running and read only you can set uh, set that as well if you want uh, but obviously you have to set it as read only but because this is a test environment so i don't like care about this <laughs> but okay uh, so here you can check the uh, select your time span uh, time span uh, for last 30 minutes let's see for last 30 minutes are you going to watch for one one hour so if you see this uh, uh, this is the lag uh, which i was doing some testing and it was increasing after the configuration of the parallel replication it went down so now we will repeat the test which i have been doing before so for that um, i need to um, deploy the parallel uh, what do you say the sysbench test so for that uh, i will attach this link how you can uh, install the sysbench and how you like just the installation of the sysbench uh, and if you want to learn more about the sysbench you can follow my blog uh, this is my blog uh, which i have written uh, on the uh, this website if you see here this here is my name uh, all you need to do is that how to uh, like a benchmark performance uh, of my sql using sysbench and just write my name and you will see it otherwise i will post this link inside the uh, resource section uh, it will be available on the top of the uh, text file which you will be receiving uh, in the resource section uh, the, all the script which i will be executing you, you will see it there okay uh, so uh, let's start with the test uh, let me show you uh, my environment here so my environment have the app and then mysql1 and mysql2 uh, from the app i will be executing the sysbench stress, uh, stress test of the bulk insert uh, and for that what i have done here is that i have already installed the sysbench and uh, obviously you can follow the blog and you can check how to install the sysbench okay so if you see here um, show databases okay uh, all you everything is in the uh, everything will be in the resource section available how i created this but you need to create only the uh, uh, sb test database okay and uh, which user is required uh, you will see that in the resource section and you can check the blog as well uh, but later on uh, if you guys want i will uh, provide the sysbench uh, tutorial as well so uh, okay so for that let's go uh, to the what do you say uh, the slave side okay uh, show slave status okay currently as you guys saw that i don't have any lag and if you see here the it's not changing because nothing is running on the on the master side so uh, let's just what we guys need to do is that uh, let just uh, go to the uh, app server okay and just deploy uh, our uh, like what do you say let me just uh, run the command so I can install the test so uh, this is the command uh, which we will run let's say sysbench okay this is my DB user uh, DB driver uh, this is the user which I have created this is the password of the user uh, this is the database which is going to 
create all the tables i'm going to create 20 tables and each table will have 25 to 50 100k of records and this is the ip of my master server and what i'm telling him that use this uh, script and prepare all the tables so what is this going to do is that it is going to create from 1 to 20 tables and it is going to create all the indexes on them and it will like insert around 250k records uh, in each of the table so uh, if you see here uh, currently we might not feel any lag because uh, it's not that much of the traffic but no oh, sorry but still uh, there is some lag you might see one second uh, milliseconds and if you go to the uh, website uh, let's say the PMM server uh, here uh, you won't see anything uh, huge uh, like spikes here because it, it might be uh, by the time I'm checking uh, it might be like finished already so it's went to till sb test 13 it is now creating the data if you see here uh, use sb test and show tables so all the tables are almost created it is going to like 16 is already on the way 17 is here and show tables so almost 18 till 18 is done and it's almost finished so yeah 19 is here you can skip this part if you want so and uh, almost the data has been created okay i uh, show tables and if you see here uh, use sp test this is my slave show tables our replication is working fine and show slave status if you see now nothing is moving any anymore and everything is fine so now let's uh, just deploy a stress on the mysql server okay uh, and i will be using the oltp uh, run script this script so uh, what this script is doing uh, is that the sysbench obviously user and uh, the password and the database so it's going to like have a table 20 tables it is going to hit and it will be using the uh, eight threads uh, for infinite time for infinite events mean that how many like uh, events is going to create and the table size is going to might go for the like, 250k uh, records and this is the script is going to create so let's run this and now it's running okay uh, if you see here uh, show process list on the master uh, you will see that okay waiting for commit and some a lot of uh, around eight threads are running and they are doing some bulk insert and if you see here uh, your uh, uh, the master is already in uh, increasing the lag okay so if you see here the lag is already increasing and if we go to the uh, our pmm server and you will see that let me refresh this you will see that the lag is already increasing from here you can reduce the time that every five seconds is going to uh, refresh so let's uh, move it to 30 minutes so you can see it so if you see here the lag is already increasing and it's went to uh, 21 seconds so it's already increasing and all it's going uh, all the way up and obviously let's monitor our uh, on the here as well it's 40 seconds 41 seconds and all that okay so uh, it's going and going and going so obviously it's gonna uh, a lot of thing if you uh, check here show slave status i have only one thread running uh, no show slave status no uh, show process list sorry yeah so obviously only the one sql thread is running okay uh, and uh, one handle is running and it's just uh, do actually it's only one this one this guy is waiting for master to send and it's trying his best to keep up but uh, it's not possible for this guy to keep up because it, there is a lot of things happening from the insert command which i have executed okay so now as obviously we need to deploy the parallel replication because um, i don't have i cannot uh, like live with this so now let's uh, configure our uh, slave replication uh, the command i'm going to use is that we will have to set a few parameters uh, which is uh, let me copy this okay first we need to stop the slave okay and then we will need to set up this variable uh, so let's go to the uh, slave server okay and this one and let's stop the slave for a while okay and then uh, I will tell you 
okay so let me start the slave so it can start catching up as well because it's gonna create a lot of mess so to set up the uh, first we are what are we doing that uh, we are going to parallel workers to eight and then we are going for the logical uh, slave type is to logical uh, clock and then we are giving the slave preserve commit is equal to on so every the commit order is uh, preserved okay and this is the guy like slave uh, pending job max size is uh, you can uh, give it the like check how much is it the queue is growing and then uh, till that uh, after uh, checking that you can uh, give your maximum size you want uh, but this is the best size you can give what is this um, it is the number of uh, job like the the queue like is the value of the queue uh, like till which the worker can wait okay so like a, a worker can have this much of queue in his uh, like uh, pocket and if the queue is uh, like uh, growing than that and he will not receive any uh, other uh, jobs so that is how it's uh, this is which is maintained so if you see this uh, show slave status now okay and it is should it's not that now increasing okay no 119 20 19 coming back and back and through okay but it will catch up because it is working now but maybe it will not work if you see here uh, it is still growing but now it's not like uh, it's not going uh, too like it's like you if you see here uh, now it's not that bad like if you see here it's like coming like uh, now it's getting straight but so as we said uh, last time and uh, that there is one variable sorry let me show you in the graph I missed the graph so if you see the graph uh, it's now getting straight okay so it, there is a bit difference now and uh, now it's getting straight before it was like uh, growing so fast so uh, slowly it will come down but now we need to monitor that how my uh, workers are working uh, are they doing the performing are they performing up to the uh, but are they doing performing better job uh, are they able to like keep up with the uh, uh, like how much each thread uh, each uh, uh, slave uh, worker is uh, is like performing so for that uh, we need to go to the percona uh, this link I will also provide this link as well uh, it's called estimating potential for MySQL 5.7 parallel application okay uh, so if you come here uh, you will see you need to execute this on the uh, replica okay and these are some instrument which you need to enable okay uh, uh, okay sorry okay and then I did it okay already here and then uh, let's go to the browser again and we need to copy this uh, view okay you need to create this view uh, usually you should create it on the master okay but obviously my master is lagging so I will create it on the uh, my uh, like a uh, Percona database okay I already created a Percona database and I will use it inside that so this is my view and for after that uh, if you see here I have executed the command the created the view inside my Percona database use Percona and then right. then you need to execute these two commands okay uh, let me copy one by one and execute them and from here now we need to see like how is my uh, workers working so if you see here from our previous command uh, what we did is that we used eight parallel workers and if you see here now this is the percentage how my uh, slaves are working okay so each uh, the total work is divided into the all the uh, workers and each is one is the getting 14 13 14 is uh, this kind of percentage so it will grow by the time okay so it will take uh, a little bit time so before that let's say show slave status so if you see here it's 157 it's not growing okay if you see here uh, let's say from the uh, graph okay if you see here it's not that steeping okay the steep has been like if from here you see it's growing so fast but from here the steep has been like uh, declined the reason behind is that either uh, our we need either we need to increase the number of uh, parallel worker okay either we can go uh, and we uh, can set up 
this like either we can go to the master and we are going to uh, make the master a bit slow in terms of doing the commit okay so we will tell it that please reduce the speed of the commit so the slave can execute more and more uh, parallel uh, transactions so how we are going to do that uh, let me show you uh, there is one variable uh, which I had already mentioned here uh, it was let me show you here from here uh, show variables like I think the name if I'm not wrong it has something like oh sorry yeah so this one uh, no 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 not, not this one this should be something like commit uh, wait okay bin log group commit sync delay okay this one these are the two variables you can set uh, one is the bin log group commit sync delay uh, which I have told you that uh, this is the in the microseconds and you can set it to like start from 1000 to 3000 and 10,000 and all that I usually set it to 10,000 and this one is the number of transaction uh, it can wait uh, like uh, how many transaction if that uh, let's say if the transaction increases from 30 then you should uh, not wait for the number of microseconds but you will go for the uh, commit okay so uh, let's keep it to uh, so that is how you can do it okay so uh, let's set uh, let me show you the what is the condition of my slave so it's growing 185 186 and all that so if you set this variable set global and let's set it to 10,000 so this is the microseconds and if you see here let's reconnect uh, select at it this variable so it is now set to 10,000 and let me set this one to let's say 50 okay set global um, is equal to let's say yeah let's say 50 okay and let me connect and select at 8 So this is set to uh, 50 so now if you see here uh, let me uh, go to the uh, graph okay and this will start reducing but we need to wait uh, but before that let me show you uh, you will see some improvement uh, inside uh, your command where is the command okay let me copy the command from the website So if you see here it has been increased now and this will start uh, increasing and it will uh, give you a good uh, number of uh, like it will give you a good percentage now okay so uh, what is the show slave status okay so uh, it will take some time because it needs to catch up uh, and it will uh, the uh, it will start reducing uh, the like uh, this the lag will start reducing okay but it will it might take a uh, few seconds so let's go and check on the website how is it going so uh, let me wait for a few minutes and you will see that it is uh, reducing or not okay i will show you okay guys uh, if you see here uh, what i did is that um, it was not uh, like uh, giving me a good uh, response when I uh, set this variable uh, to 10,000 okay so the sync was not too much it was not delaying a lot so what I did is that I set it to 30,000 instead of 10,000 then uh, if you see from the uh, lag if you see the graph is uh, by the time I set it to uh, 30,000 uh, you see the lag is catching up okay so check it in, check it out you see it's like uh, within uh, maybe within few seconds like 
it's went from if you see stuff from here 20 uh, 30820 okay uh, and it is going from 20 seconds when it went to like uh, within few seconds it's like uh, went to went to down okay uh, I think so that is how if you see here the lag like uh, goes like this so that's how you can reduce your lag okay and if you want so Uh, let me refresh the page sorry replication now group replication where is it my SQL replication summary yeah so if you see here uh, let me go to the uh, other mm, here uh, let me show you the show slave status it's zero now okay uh, it's gone so there is no lag anymore okay um, everything is perfect and if you see uh, that is how things uh, works very well for you so uh, that's it guys uh, that is how you can um, uh, let's say reduce your lag okay so this is the best way you can uh, do it so let me know if you have any problem with this and I will uh, solve, you, uh, solve the problem for you okay uh, sorry I forgot to tell you that uh, let's say if you want to disable and then what you need to do so if you want to disable uh, what you need to do is that uh, you on uh, here are few variables you need to execute uh, on the slave side okay uh, these are the variable let's say uh, stop slave okay and then uh, let me start. I will explain the variable so this is the same variable uh, which we last time we set to uh, logical clock then we set to database which is default and then uh, slave parallel worker to zero which we set to eight and the slave user commit is equal to off uh, so that is going to work perfect. So now there is no uh, parallel replication happening. Uh, if you see show process list Now there is only one um, Only one is running again. So that is how you can uh, do it and That's how it works. If you see from here uh, It's nothing. It's only one. Okay last time it was eight. So that's how you can uh, do it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please uh, bring your friends who wants to uh, learn MySQL and recommend them this course.